So to start growing oyster mushrooms, you need a substrate. A substrate is the material that the oyster mushrooms are growing on. So the substrate is what the mycelium grows and consumes to produce the mushroom. Supplemented sawdust is one of the most commonly used substrates for commercial production of oyster mushrooms. This is usually comprised of a mixture of sawdust and hulls from grains, things like sunflower seeds, peas, soybean hulls. It can also incorporate uh, materials that can be found in urban environments like coffee grounds. One of the important things to consider when you're selecting a substrate is what the nitrogen content is going to be. As you increase nitrogen, typically you're going to increase yield, but also increase the possibility for contamination. When you do something like supplemented sawdust, you have to be very precise and, and work in a lab in order to successfully grow. After mixing a sawdust substrate, it needs to be sterilized. Primarily steam is used for the sterilization process. You can steam using atmospheric steam, which is not pressurizing at all, or using something like an autoclave or pressure cooker to really increase the temperature. So this is our atmospheric steam setup. We have two sauna steamers right over here uh, that generate the steam. And then they pump the steam into this, uh, essentially a walk-in cooler, uh, it's just an insulated box. And so they pump the steam in at the bottom down here um, on the two edges of the cooler and then bring the temperature in here up to 200 degrees for about 16 to 18 hours. And when we load this up, we have about a thousand bags. So this is the inside of the steamer. I think it's really helpful to minimize the variables when you're first starting to grow. So if you buy your spawn in, you know you're getting spawn that's high quality and strains that fruit really, really well. So it's kind of one less thing that has to be on your plate to start with. And then it gives an opportunity for you to grow your skills and where your, what your business is doing by starting to, to grow your own spawn down the road. So to make mushroom spawn, you start with a culture or a fresh mushroom and put a small piece onto a petri plate. And then the mycelium grows out onto this petri plate. Off of the petri plate, we put the mycelium into the bag of grain spawn. So this is the mycelium growing out into the grain spawn. This is some millet, the bottom here, hasn't colonized yet. And from each of these bags, we can make 10 more bags of grain spawn. After we've made this grain spawn, we expand it out into sawdust spawn. So this is the, our sterile lab that we inoculate bags in. Uh, we have two filters in the ceiling that make the room positive pressure. So it's pushing clean air outside of the room. Um, and then we have a couple of pressure cookers here and uh, a bank of flow hoods over here. So this is where we do the inoculation process and the filters uh, clean out any fungi or bacteria that are just ambient in the air. After the bags are sterilized, we bring them in here to inoculate. So the inoculation process is really simple. We have our uh, treated bags, our spawn. So this is our sterilized substrate. It's a mixture of sawdust and soybean hulls. Drop a small amount of spawn in and then we take the bag and seal it and this makes sure that only in the filter can there be any air exchange so now that the bag is sealed you see there's this nice seal at the top we can move it out into incubation but first we shake it up to distribute the spawn throughout the sawdust mixture. Now it's ready to go. These are our pressure cookers, which we use to do pressurized sterilization. This is how we sterilize our agar and our grain spawn. 
So instead of atmospheric pressure, we bring these pressure cookers up to 15 to 20 PSI. So the temperature ends up being around 250 to 260 degrees Fahrenheit, rather than with the atmospheric steam where it's around 200 degrees. This process only takes 90 minutes to two hours rather than the 20 hours for atmospheric. So we have two different types of spawn here. We have the sawdust spawn right here, which has a finer particle size, but is a little bit lower in nutrient content. And then we have the grain spawn, which tends to have a higher nutrient profile and be a lower generation. So it's a little bit younger mycelium. Typically grain spawn is used for supplemented sawdust and straw. And sawdust is used for uh, sometimes for straw and a lot of times for logs. So this is our incubation room. It's a modified trailer. And this is where the bags come after they've been inoculated for the mycelium to grow out. So we keep it around 70, 75 degrees in here and the bags are in here for about three weeks. After the mycelium's completely grown out, we move them into the fruiting room. 